A lesbian couple from South Jersey finds themselves in the midst of a custody battle with one of their sperm donors. As our Pat Shiraki tells us, this case may serve as a warning for couples who use at-home artificial insemination. When Tierra and Sheena Yates fell in love, having a family was their dream. He, but they really knew shy. they'd need like help. It takes the outsider to help us because we are a lesbian couple. So, you know, we can't do it on our own. When these guys come to us and they're willing to help, it's so exciting. It's happy, like, yes, we're going to have our family. Within four years, each woman had given birth to a son. They thought documents signed by their two sperm donors relinquishing parental rights before the artificial insemination would allow them to be their children's only parents. That changed when both donor dads independently changed their minds. It's not fair that, you know, these guys can make these promises, sign contracts, and then be able to just change their minds. It's not fair. We gave these men options. The option to say, yes, I'll be your donor, or no, because I want a family. Tierra and Sheena initiated legal action. They lost both times in trial court because New Jersey law on artificial insemination requires a physician's involvement. Both boys were conceived by artificial means at home. Now the two women are appealing. John Keating is their lawyer. You need to be careful when you do this. You need to make sure you seek legal counsel and, and do it right so that you fall under the statute. It's safer to make sure that you have a physician do it uh, so it's clear that the statute applies and you don't run the risk of ending up in this sort of nightmarish situation. For Tierra and Sheena, they feel it's just not fair. I just feel we shouldn't be punished because we miss one little step of the law. Like, we, at least we did have a doctor involved. I don't think it should matter who they hand their sample to. All Tierra and Sheena want is to be able to raise their boys as an intact family. They're hoping that the Jersey Appeals Court will agree. In Pennsville, Pat Shiraki, CBS3 Eyewitness News.